Galileo was an Italian astronomer, mathematician, and philosopher known as the father of modern science. He was born on February 15, 1564, in Pisa, Italy. He began studying medicine at the University of Pisa in 1581, but left in 1585 and never finished his degree. He made his first discovery during his early studies. In 1582, he discovered that a pendulum will swing in equal beats no matter what amplitude of oscillation. Through experiment, he discovered the isochronal nature of the pendulum. Now watch this live demonstration on the law of the pendulum. Galileo first gained fame when he discovered what is now called the law of the pendulum. One day in the cathedral, he was watching the lamps that were hanging from the ceiling and saw them swaying back and forth and started thinking about the nature of a pendulum. He found that the amplitude of the swing doesn't matter, but the length of the pendulum does. After he left the University of Pisa, he continued studying in Florence. While in Florence, he completed his first scientific treatise, La Bilancetta, in which he describes his improved hydrostatic balance. In 1589, Galileo was offered a position at the University of Pisa as a mathematics professor because of a paper he wrote on the center of gravity in solid objects. While at the University of Pisa, he wrote De Motu, in which he described the experiments he did on falling bodies. Galileo used the Leaning Tower of Pisa to experiment on the laws of bodies in motion. Here he conducted one of his famous experiments where he dropped two objects of different weights from the same height at the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa and hypothesized that they would fall at the same rate. His hypothesis was proven true and he received backlash for the results of these experiments because they were so contradictory to the accepted teachings of Aristotle. Galileo stayed at the University of Pisa as a professor and head of the mathematics department for three years. Then, in 1592, he assumed the chair of mathematics at the University of Padua. He remained at the University of Padua for the next 18 years. Though Galileo is sometimes credited with inventing the telescope, this is not technically correct. In 1608, a man in the Netherlands named Hans Lippershey invented the first telescope, but this telescope could only magnify about two to three times. After hearing of this telescope in 1609, Galileo created an improved telescope that could magnify 30 times. The creation of this telescope prompted many astronomical discoveries by Galileo. In 1610, he discovered three of Jupiter's moons, Io, Europa, and Callisto. Then, four days later, he discovered the moon of Ganymede. Galileo observed that these moons would occasionally disappear. Galileo speculated that these moons must be regularly orbiting and therefore disappearing behind Jupiter. These observations prompted Galileo to determine that Ptolemy's traditional view of the universe, where Earth is the center and everything revolves around it, was incorrect. He published these ideas in Sidereus Nucius, or Starry Messenger. This same year, Galileo left the University of Padua and moved back to Florence. In 1613, Galileo published his observations of the sun in Letters on Sunspots. He observed that the sun had spots and appeared to move when viewed at different angles. He wanted to prove that the sun rotated on its axis and did not remain stationary. This time, Galileo publicly pronounced his support of the Copernican heliocentric view of the universe, where the sun is the center of the universe, not the earth. In 1615, he went to Rome to stand before the Pope and argue for Copernicus's heliocentric view. However, Pope Paul V was against this heliocentricity and determined that it was heretical. In 1616, the Pope forbade Galileo from writing, teaching, or speaking about the Copernican system. If he disobeyed this order, the Pope authorized the Inquisition to imprison Galileo. Galileo laid low and was relatively silent until 1623 when he published Il Sagiatori, a treatise on the philosophy of science. Pleased by this, Pope Urban VIII gave Galileo permission to write an impartial work comparing the heliocentric and geocentric systems. Galileo published this work entitled Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems in 1632. Despite his attempts, this book was clearly biased toward the heliocentric system. This caused him to be called before the Roman Inquisition on the grounds that he was in violation of Pope Paul V's order in 1616. Galileo's trial commenced in February of 1633, and in June of 1633, Galileo was officially charged with heresy and was forced to recant his heliocentric views. For the rest of 1633, Galileo was held in Rome, 
then sent to the village of Arcetri outside of Florence, where he remained the rest of his life under house arrest. His last work, Dialogues Concerning Two New Sciences, was published in Holland in 1638. Shortly after this work was published, Galileo went blind. Four years later, Galileo died in Arcetri on January 8, 1642.